Thanks for tuning in everyone. Today we're going to talk about our Pro Build Spindles uh, drum application and the parts uh, that are used in building them. We have our forged drop spindles, all one piece, nothing uh, casted, um, most heavy duty on the market. They are forged, they have a tie rod hole for an early uh, tie rod end on the top and then a late, a late model that comes from the bottom um, if you're super slammed. So you get a pair of those. You get a set of Phoebe German uh, link pins with the, the bushings. You get some Phoebe uh, made in Germany king pins. You get all the appropriate shims, seals, uh, O-ring, uh, also a pair of OEM uh, carriers. Um, we have a core program, so a lot of our uh, air-cooled army members uh, send in their old carriers or we buy them off of them. Uh, check out our core parts program uh, on our website if you have some of these spares laying around. But basically we take these, we have them uh, ammonia bath um, so that everything comes out and they're all like raw steel. And then we check for straightness. Um, we tap all the zerk fittings and we clean up all the in inconsistencies in, in, the, in the, the part itself. We tap our bronze bushings in and then we ream with the reamer through here to get the proper fit and feel. One thing to note uh, when ordering these, they come with the O-rings and the little keepers to keep the grease in, but there's two types of control arms. You can see uh, there's a flat one here that's flat, and then there's one that's got a concave. If you have a flat, you can't use the O-rings. If you have the concave, then you can use the O-rings. Uh, one is not better than the other. It's just different years came with them. Um, the grease can be held in better with an O-ring seal. Um, but it's not no reason to fret if you don't have them. Later we'll show you how we ream them and put them together. Any questions, hit us up. Info at aircool.com 623-518-3537. Take care guys.